Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And today's episode is going to be a little bit different because instead of being outside my door, today I'm actually inside my door. And you can see that I'm here in my house and it's winter time. And I've got my wood stove going here. And I've been thinking about this insect that I have in my house. He's been here all year long. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the multicolored Asian lady beetle. And so this episode is going to be about all about the multicolored Asian lady beetle that I found here in my house. Sometimes there's hundreds of them and a lot of people in this area, a lot of people in Virginia, and a lot of people around the United States have these in their houses as well. So this video is going to be about what is the multicolored Asian ladybug? How did they get here? What are they doing? How are they living in the house? Why did they come in? How do they live outside of the house? What is their natural history and biology? How did they get to this country? And what should you do if you have them in your house? So all of this will be covered in today's video on the multicolored Asian ladybug. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And there's a make this invasive. There's a top. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. So I was trying to concentrate and make sure I didn't call these guys bugs because they're not bugs, they're actually true beetles and they're in the Coleoptera group. And it's a misnomer and a misidentification to call them bugs. Bugs in entomology are actually a group known as the hemipterans. And all hemipterans have a beak or a proboscis for their mouth parts. So this guy, the multicolored Asian lady beetle, is a true beetle. Beetles go through complete metamorphosis. Their life stages are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. So these beetles, that are sometimes called lady beetles or lady bird beetles, or simply ladybirds, are introduced exotic species. They're not native to the state of Virginia where I am right now, or to the United States. They've come here from Asia. How do you identify them? Well, if you look at the bug just behind his head, there's a section called the pronotum. And the pronotum is before the colored red or orange wing covers, which are called elytra, that have the dots on them. This species, sometimes it has dots, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's orange. Sometimes there's no dots on it at all. But they all have a pronotum with an M on it, so that there's black and white on the pronotum and it has an M on it, like you can see in this individual right here. Here they are on my sliding glass door. Here they are on my picture window. Here they are on my bathroom window. These windows all face the west. They're attracted to the light and they'll go to these windows. So where did this all start? Well, in the fall, in September, late September and October, I noticed them starting to mass and swarm outside the house. And they swarmed here on this south facing wall and this western facing wall in the afternoon. And there were so many. What were they doing? They're looking for a warm place to overwinter. And these guys want to come inside the house where it's warm. We'll start to look for every single crack or crevice in the house and try to get inside. And so during the winter, after the swarming, after they've isolated themselves on these outside surfaces and worked their way into the house, every time it gets a little bit warm, some of them come out thinking maybe it's spring. So these guys are in a state called diapause. Diapause is a kind of overwintering state where they don't need to feed, they don't need to eat, they don't uh, develop sexually, and they don't reproduce. When April comes and it starts to warm up outside, these guys will come out. And last year, I probably vacuumed up 
hundreds off my windows every day for about two weeks before they all finally emerged and I got them back outside again. Once they're back outside, they're going to develop sexually, they'll reproduce. Some of these guys can live up to two or three years given the right conditions and they'll go through multiple generations during the summer where they'll lay eggs and the eggs will hatch into larvae, the larger will pupate, and it all happens in a couple of weeks. So is it bad to have these bright colored bugs in your house? Well, one thing about the bright color, this is a biological uh, phenomenon called aposematism, where uh, animals have certain bright colors to indicate that they're distasteful to eat or they're toxic or they can stink. And so organisms tend to stay away from bright colored bugs. Now, what is it about the lady beetles that make them aposomatic bright color is they release and exudate from their joints in their legs that smells really bad. So when threatened by predators or when they die, they release this foul smelling substance. So if you smash these in your house, they're going to release this foul smelling su substance. So these guys don't bite, they don't sting, they're not terribly toxic, but they definitely have a foul smell. And the bad thing for your house is when they release this exudate, it can stain the trim around your windows and your window sills, and it's not very pleasant to have. But they're not going to eat anything in your house. They're not going to reproduce in your house. They don't eat fabrics. They aren't going to try to get to your food. They just are looking for a place to overwinter. How they actually got here. Since the early 1900s, they've been introduced at various times as a biological control agent for aphids or scale insects. They're eating trees or agricultural products or shrubs or garden plants. And they thought, well, let's bring in this ferocious predator, which will eat 50 aphids a day so that they may eat 5,000 aphids in their summertime life cycle. They have beneficial aspects to them because they eat these different insects. So they were introduced at various times over the last, well, 100 years. But they never really took, they never really established themselves until a group of Asian lady beetles were identified in Louisiana in large numbers in 1985. Here in Virginia, they were first documented in Lee County in 1993. And then by the late 1990s, they were found everywhere in the state of Virginia and everywhere across the United States. The end result, they're here in very, very large numbers. They do tend to invade a lot of people's houses to find a place to stay for the winter. So are they good or bad for our ecology here? Are they a welcome visitor? Well, they do eat a lot of aphids and scale insects, which damage our trees and crops. But they're also outcompeting our native lady beetle species that are plummeting in populations and presence right now. Everybody wants to know, I've got them in my house. What can I do about them? The best thing to do is not to crush them. And spraying insecticides is relatively ineffective because most of them aren't moving around, aren't going to track there. And I think the balance between environmental hazards of the insecticides in your house and these bugs is simply not worth it. They're not eating things. They're not eating fabric. They're not reproducing. They, the bad thing is they do leave stains where they accumulate. The best thing to do is to vacuum them up. And I have a little hand vacuum on a battery with a little container on it. I can vacuum them up and release them outside. And the very best thing is, to, is preventative. Go around your house, caulk up every single crevice or crack that you can find externally. And so the best way to take care of these lady beetles is to make it extremely difficult that, for them to enter your house. Well, thanks for watching. Nature at your door, indoors today. I hope I answered all of the questions you might have about multicolored Asian lady beetles. But if there are some questions you still have, please leave them at the end of my YouTube video and I will get back to you right away. I love getting comments from people. I answer them ASAP. I hope you'll catch me on my next episode. 
And right now I'm looking at a stink bug up on the window and that's another invasive species and that might make another great episode to watch. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door.